How you guys are doing? Welcome to episode number two of Setup Fix Up. So right, so in episode two, uh, first of all, I hope you guys enjoyed Setup One, episode uh, one, and just thanks for following me up with my setup. Right, so episode two, I'm going to be unboxing um, two upgrades which I've bought, and yeah, so let's get into the video, guys. Okay, so now the biggest thing that I've actually purchased is yeah it's an Acer motherboard actually my camera can't even zoom in that before like it's seriously big as you guys can see um it's a full full size motherboard I'm uh, later on in the episode I'm gonna be um opening up my PC so you guys can see everything inside but um this was a really big purchase and I'm really happy so excited to actually install this this is gonna help my computer so much so let's actually let's, let's look around the, the, the box first. So on the side it just says that. The front just says that. That's some information. Uh, assuming it is it's focusing. See how it is. Go right to the back. It's quite hectic. That, that's the motherboard right there. I don't know if I can, you guys can see everything. So that's the back. That's the IO board. It's right there. Um, you guys can just Google this model if you want to. So it is the. Asus, um, let me zoom in again, the Asus um, B50 Pro Gaming, when I say that, is that other, other, anyway, um, motherboards, as you guys can see, it's right over there, um, so yeah, let's open the box, so here is the IO field, which is standard, some SATA cables, there's currently eight of them, so there's, Anyway, zip ties which are really useful, thanks Asus, and some screws. Right, so this is the user manual, let's first look at all this stuff. Right, so this is like some labels, if you guys can see properly. This is like labels, which you can put on your SATA cables and write what they are. Pretty cool, you guys can see the demonstration there. I probably won't be using that because I'm not that hectic on OCD. So this is the user manual right here. So, this is a C the driver, Put the motherboard, yeah, it is. And there's a little Asus sticker in there, cool. The user manual, which you can download this online. So, if you guys want to check this out, you can just go onto Asus. Actually, I'll put a link in the description Asus website, and you can literally download it dig digitally. Right, so let's have a look at that motherboard. Okay, right, so as you guys can see, here is my new full-size motherboard, which I am so excited about. You guys don't understand, I actually can't wait to install it. So I've got four slots of, of RAM. I don't know if you guys can pick it up, but the most of the motherboard is black. It's quite difficult. So I've got four slots here of RAM, two graphics card slots, uh, four, um, what are those slots called? Uh, CPI, I think. I'm probably saying that wrong. So my IO shields is the I don't know why they still do that, but that's the old um, mouse and stuff. So that old connection, two two USB twos, VGA, HDMI, two USB threes, a USB 3.1 which has just come out now. I actually, I don't even know what that one on the bottom is. Now a really fast internet port, two more USB 3.0s, and then my audio interface. Um, so this board is really amazing, there's lots of fan heads and stuff like that. And I'm just so excited in general just to have this board. Okay, right, so this is the front of the case. Yeah, it is. There's two USB 2.0s, two USB 3.0 headphone and mic jack. Standard in all cases, right there. Power switch, um, reset, restart switch, and LED control switch, whatever you call them. I should know. So the two LED fans are right here. You guys will see them now. So let's go this way. Um, there's a glass window, whatever you call it, the better panel. Two, I think these are 100, uh, 120 millimeter uh, mounting brackets for two more fans. 
So now, the, the, see, as you guys can see, this fan is installed already. It's and then see, I'm seeing one of these this thing here. I need one of those. Um, seven expansion slots, power supply slots, IO shield, and this is one of the things that you can lock your stuff. And the other cool thing is just like the bottom is really nice rubber for you, which is really nice. And as you guys can see right here, all this does is slide in like that. And stuck it back. The size is pain. So let's go and open up this case. Let's just So as you guys can see, let's move the camera forward now. As you guys can see, that is the inside of my case. It's blacked out, which is amazing because that means you can hide cables, stuff like that, and 